So at the bottom of the vessel, we have a gauge pressure of 2,500 pascals. The new gauge pressure is simply equal to the old gauge pressure plus the um, pressure due to the uh, air being injected into the vessel, this being 1,500 pascals. So the new gauge pressure is simply 2,500 plus 1,500, a new gauge pressure of 4,000 pascals. Now, we need to um, eva we need to um, we need to extract water out of this vessel such that the pressure of the vessel is decreased back down to the original gauge pressure of 2,500 pascals. So we can say that the delta P or the change in pressure must equal 1,500 pascals in order to reach 2,500 pascals again. The change in pressure due to water can be equal to the density of water times the acceleration due to gravity times the height of the water. Um, times the change, rather, times the change times the change of the water because, of course, we need to uh, get water, we need to evacuate water outside of the vessel. We are going to isolate this variable. So delta H is going to equal delta P, of course, divided by the density of the water times the gravity. This is going to be 1,500 divided by 1,000 uh, kilograms per cubic meter, the density of water, times 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, Solving for this, we find that delta H is equal to 15.31 centimeters. So in order for the gauge pressure to reach 2,500 pascals once again, um, the change in height of the water must be 15.31 centimeters, or a height, uh, the, the height uh, of the water must decrease. So... Um, must decrease uh, by 15.31 centimeters in order for the gauge pressure to reach 2,500 pascals once again. And that's the end of the solution. Thank you for watching.